In this video I'm going to take a look at uh, standard window jam and I'm going to compare two details for this. Here uh, we have a diagram shown or a 3D, 3D view of the jam detail and uh, the window sill and it shows the DPC tray around the window sill as well and the vertical DPC which is quite hard to visualize from a vertical section drawn which we will be looking at. So this is a good reference point here for uh, looking at what we're going to draw. And it, you can see the cavity is closed as well to where the, the block or the brick would be returned back around uh, towards the externally. This is in the, in the textbook as well and it shows a similar detail that's shown here and that's what we're going to be comparing in the vertical sections that we draw. We're going to have one which has got a returned cavity closer and one which doesn't. So we're going to use the standard cavity wall which we're looking at now as a 350 wall 150 mm cavity and I'm just going to draw two of these on the page. It's, a, it's put on a landscape style and um, you can see I I've just picked a kind of a random point to finish these down to. So you can see the returned piece here on the left and the one with no return on the right. The one on the left then is there's a 50 mil gap that's left there where there would be insulation placed in between that there. And obviously there would have to be a vertical DPC, but I can't draw on the DPC until I would draw on the external render of the plaster to give me an idea of where it's going to be finishing up. So the blue line now denotes the vertical DPC which runs right up along the frame of the window or the jam of the window. <coughs> the only major difference in this is that there's a smaller amount of insulation used where there's a uh, the block is returned uh, than there is with where the cavity is left open and uh, the insulation is placed in there. In the book there is a detail showing uh, a proprietary cavity closure or in the workbook it shows it um, this is kind of a, a detail which is taken from timber frame construction. I presume it could well be used in the, the block build as well. I haven't seen them. But um, this detail, they are, any of these two details, covers how that may be carried out. I have uh, a, a fixed window frame in this here. It's just a triple glazed unit. I'm putting in a thermal break in it. I'm not going to any big trouble with this here because the detail that we're really looking at is the, um, the vertical DPC and how the insulation is finished in around us here. Uh, how is the window fixed here? Well, there will be straps placed to the window, window which are clasped into the, the back of the frame and they're fixed then to the block. With a return cavity closure, you may have more opportunity to get a, a stronger fixing, possibly, than you would with the, the other method, um, where, the, the, where the actual cavity is left open. And what's more is we have a window frame drawn which is 150 and in all likelihood uh, it will be some a little bit smaller than that there. But for the purpose of drawing it's quite easy for us to draw at 150. And I've drawn here the detail shown their tightness tape. Possibly that wouldn't carry around the corner but uh, it's easy for us to draw it in and it's important to have the detail uh, shown. And once you have the detail shown it covers that part, the, the, the detail of exactly where it should be um, isn't incredibly important other than it should be up against the window frame and going across the block as well. Uh, there should be a, a, a scud coat at least or a scratch coat placed on the plaster to ensure that the tape will take to that there and you could actually have a, an internal wall where the internal wall is not not just with insulation in the cavity but you might have a, a dry lined wall as well. This is our sill on the outside and drawn in the detail for concrete and uh, the colouring that I'm using here as well it's only shading it shouldn't be anything more than that there it's not a colouring book it shouldn't be heavy block colouring it's only to give the impression or make it stand out a wee bit off the page uh, as to what the different elements are. Again with, as with every other drawing, put in guidelines for your printing and highlight all the different elements that are uh, meant to be in the, the diagram. I'm using this, just a centerpiece here to be able to highlight the left, both left and right and that's what I'm going to do. 
And like I said, there's only to highlight the difference between the two methods where the cavity internal uh, block is returned around and there is a thermal break uh, to prevent cold bridging. And uh, the other one on the right then is where there is no return around and it's just uh, the cavity is closed by filling insulation in where the vertical DPC would be. And that has to be built in. If you refer to the very first picture, you'll see where how it meets with the DPC at the head of the window as well. So when when the, the jams are being built, the DPC has to be placed in there and rolled up as as uh, yeah, the building progresses. Again, just refer back to our original drawing. Vertical section. 